Hello friends, hello everyone, there's, there's like a plane flying right now as I turn on the microphone, awesome, thank you very much, airports are awesome, but come on, yo Z, what's up, welcome back, oh my, it feels weird because I'm streaming so early, good to have time off, am I right, a uh, bit of a wellness break, but there's always time for Lego, <laughs> Um, let me just get my mic just closer to me. I think I, that's I don't want to get this in the shot Hello, hello. How we doing? T 12 watching. Yeah off to a great start. Hopefully I did share on my social so hopefully more people can join But it's kind of like middle of the day. So I guess people are back in school back at work certainly in some places uh, Hello, hi 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 brick separator blocksmith forge welcome members big hype for the members, there we go. Uh, oh, come on, it's like a bigger audience at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you for joining. Big Star Wars boy, Roland, Timothy, God Builds. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, early start. Well, this set cannot wait, that's one thing. And second is like, finally I can actually stream during the day for, for once, for at least a day, uh, before I get back to work like next, next week, yeah. Pretty good stuff, pretty good stuff. Cameras, I think, are working. Uh, Lilots, welcome. Partial tunes, welcome. Teacher work day today for me, so I'm off from school. Nice. Well, hopefully we can have some good vibes. We have some excellent set on the table. Uh, great, great stream yesterday because I actually put it... It's a giant mouse cursor right now. Actually work, uh, put it on the stand because the stand will work. There's a little... Let me just... I have this fancy camera set up now that I can show everything very close. So you have those connection points and then you can see those holes uh, right here. You just go, uh, there you go, see, right there. And it just connects in this really cool level. So. Uh, it was a great great progress yesterday because this is basically the, the lower fuselage of the shuttle and then we're moving forward with the, with the entire um, Thing like yeah, we built the Hubble telescope as well. So for those of you who are not here yesterday, this is the Hubble telescope It's beautiful. It has all the silver pieces it has the actual lens cap <laughs> of sorts all the equipment in the back very cool stuff I would say 
And yeah, we got the plaques as well. My sticker. Oh, maybe this way. <laughs> My sticker application techniques kinda worked. I'm still learning how to like move my hands against like a top-down camera. It's kind of challenging. Cause like if I go forward, if I go back, like w w directions, please. Cause the camera is like against me so you guys see what I'm seeing. So I had to flip it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it looks great. I have a, this is like kind of like how it looks like on the table right here. So there is that, we got angles, we got we got stuff in the studio, so this is a huge upgrade for me. Um, and I really like it, how, how it all works out. I hope it's all good. I noticed my microphone was speaking yesterday a little bit, uh, so I hope it's better today. I just adjusted it, so. Hopefully, let me know if there's any issues with the streams. I do appreciate any feedback, because I try to nail down a setup or a system that I can use for you know months to come without too much changing things, adding cables, because right now, I'm done. <laughs> I think I'm done with all the setting up and uh, it it's really works for me great. So I want this to work for many, many months. Uh, yeah, Outsider, Munro, welcome back. Uh, Roland, how you doing? Sinek, Viron, hello. Vesovego Yaika, Girkanots, Easter, yes. Uh, uh, gr the great, the good Friday is today. Wielki Piątek. Smooth transitions. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's like this device I, I really love doing the transitions for me. Yeah, there we go. Yes, studio tour is in the works um, because I finally feel like it's complete in a way that I'm going to be using for the next few months until something really cool comes up. The only upgrades I can see right now, I don't know, like just tucking the cables a bit more because some of the cables are still on the floor just because my cameras are powered from the wall. So, you know, all the transform transformers and cables are kind of hide hard to hide. Uh, and I move my tripod, the, the main tripod, I move a lot uh, because I film too. So the tripod is the only moving thing, but everything else is attached to the desk. Um, and probably I'm gonna just uh, adjust the, the monitor stand. So there are pretty heavy stands right now. So maybe I can swap them to something more lightweight. We'll see. But uh, I'm taking this really seriously because I want to I wanna work in this studio for the next few years. Uh, it's, you know, it's my home office. So definitely something I'm trying to do is to make it the best possible so I can enjoy the work here. That's my goal. It's like if you take it seriously, that's kind of where you get. Uh, you like just want to make those upgrades necessary to, to make you feel that, that your, your workflow is, is great and, and, and uh, fulfilling. And that's what I'm trying to achieve. And it's, it's, it's like this was the big step with streaming. I know I'm going to stream a lot and I'm going to do all these things uh, with filming. So I need this to be like quick and, and easy, you know. All right, uh, bag number eight will be commencing. I'm, I'm gonna move the Hubble for now. And I, I was considering a bigger table for, for all those large builds because as I can see with like a 2000, two, two, 2000 pieces set, I'm, I'm kind of running out of table space when I add like the instructions and multiple builds and all the cameras taking space, so. Um, I might consider a bigger, more hefty table because right now it's a bit wobbly of a table, but that's something for the future for sure. All right, I, I think we missed that trivia part. Um, that because it has trivia elements throughout the manual as we go. The nose and the leading edges of the wings take the most of the re-entry heat up to 2,912 degrees Fahrenheit or 1,600 degrees Celsius. Yep, so that's like. This is the heat shield of the shuttle. Like that's where you would have all those, you know, um, heat panels like this. This is like heat dissipating edge. So as the as the shuttle enters the atmosphere, in this like you no know, on an angle kind of, like this is the Earth and this is the shuttle. Like it enters, and the you know the the heat generated is dissipated thanks to those edges because they're like smooth. So. The, the, the majority of the flame hits here, but then the flames dissipate to the side, so that way the, the upper fuselage is not burned down. That's that's the way they, they did it. You can see like the footage. Uh, you can look at like NASA footage from uh, shuttles re-entering uh, atmosphere. I like this stand because you can position it in like a landing position or like nose down position, which is cool. Yeah, like that or like that. Boom. 
How many total bugs? I think uh, number is 17, but I think bug number four or five was two bugs. So I, I'm guessing like 12, 20 bags at this point. We're gonna go with bag number eight next. So this one's getting the front landing gear, few other elements. Yeah. Yeah, re-entry is brutal. That's why we had accidents, unfortunately. Um, which, which shuttle did disintegrate on re-entry? Columbia or... Um, one of them got destroyed on the uh, uh, ascent stage, launch. And one of them got destroyed on re-entry because the heat shield was damaged, right? Is that it? I'm not sure which one was which. Um, yeah, tragedy, tragic, tra tragic events in the history for sure. Columbia, okay. Columbia. So Columbia was destroyed on re-entry. So which one was it destroyed on? Was uh, Atlantis, Columbia, Endeavor, uh, Discovery? What's the fifth one? I forgot. And there was the Enterprise, which was never flown. Uh, because it was a prototype for testing on Earth. Challenger, yes, Challenger was destroyed on, on launch. Yes, okay. So Chal so uh, we had Challenger destroyed on, on the launch, Columbia on re-entry, which was more tragic even so. I mean, s same tragedy, but you know, like people were like coming, it's, it's crazy. Um, so we had, all shuttles were, were six shuttles. Enterprise, which is the prototype, then Atlantis, Columbia, Challenger, Endeavor, and Discovery. I'm not, I'm in that particular order, but six shuttles were made in total, right? Columbia destroyed over Texas. I th yeah, I think so. The, yeah, there's this crazy footage. You can see it in the atmosphere disintegrating. Col Challenger was 73 seconds into launch. Yeah. What year was that? I don't think I was born. Yeah, uh, all of these four are in museums. I think Discovery is in Smithsonian, right? Uh, I think uh, Endeavor is... There is... I know there is one in California somewhere. Not sure where. I wanna... I like one, one of the things I wanna do at some point is go to the museum with a space shuttle to see one. I never seen one in, in person. One is on the... One is on the Intrepid carrier in New York. Which one? Atlantis? I think Atlantis or Endeavor maybe. Uh, on the uh, museum aircraft carrier in New York, Intrepid, USS Intrepid, 1987. So I was I was two years old. Yeah. Um, one is in California. One is I know is on Intrepid. We have we have USS Midway in San Diego, which is also a really cool museum. If you are ever in San Diego, really go there. I I've, I've been there as an aviation fan. It's a must see. It's a really cool like. It, it was the first aircraft carrier to get decanted deck from the straight one, like it was modified, the USS Midway. Chandra was 1986, so I was one year old then. Yeah, I think my parents remember it. Okay, we're gonna remove the stand because we don't need it right now. January 26, 1986, thanks guys. So I was, I was born in August 85, so I was just a few months old. Cool, cool, cool. The Enterprise flew over our house when it rode piggyback on the jet. That's awesome, dude. Like, yeah, the, imagine if LEGO made this like giant uh, 747 that was carrying shuttles. That was freaking awesome. Cause yeah, they, they would carry them to like launch sites and yeah. That was like some crazy tech, man. They, they strapped a freaking space shuttle, the orbiter on top of a 747. <laughs> that was amazing. I would say. Bag number eight commencing. Let's go. And I do apologize if you guys see any wobbliness. I think you can see that in the shot. It's just because my stand is kind of like high and it's it's kind of transferring all the vibrations from the desk. That's why I want to get like a solid, solid wood desk in the future. So like when I tap the desk, it doesn't vibrate too much. It's something I noticed. I hope you guys don't mind.
Enterprise is in New York, Discovery is at Smithsonian, Atlantis is at Kennedy Space Center. And then, oh, so Endeavor is in LA. So I gotta go to that LA museum to see the Endeavor, yeah. Are you gonna get the new Venom headset? Uh, with, uh, the, uh, is that the Venom that's, like Venom is the same as the Carnage, right? I mean, I'm still debating if, I, if I'm gonna get the Star Wars ones on launch. Uh, again, like I'm trying to, to kind of save money, <laughs> like I'm spending too much on Lego lately. So I think I'm gonna skip a few waves uh, in the coming uh, weeks, because uh, the the Star Wars ones are coming 26th April, uh, and then the R2 D2 most likely comes out right after on May the fourth, most likely. And I, I kind of want like more R2 than the, the bus. So the bus, if you get all three, they cost you close to 200 bucks. Uh, or even like, yeah, close to 200, because it's like 50, 60, and 70 bucks, respectively, for Vader, like prop, prop droid, and, and the, the cheapest is the, uh, the scout trooper. But yeah, like 200 bucks most likely will be the R2D2. So, if I had to choose between two, I, I'm gonna get the R2. So yeah, I <laughs> I have plenty of backlog anyway to run the channel for you guys anyway. So, I'm not really, my, my, my mission or my goal is not to like, get everything first hand and, and review it right away. It's not my goal. It's, uh, I, I thought it was my goal in the past, but it's, uh, it's, it's the road to burnout, honestly, and anxiety if you try to get everything while not being able to actually afford everything so no i'm, I'm just very selective on, on what i purchase so i don't i think venom and Sp and and uh, carnage are also on that like at some point list you know you know if i ever become a land member that's gonna be easier because they they really are good at sending you uh, review copies which i would gladly be happy to to accept as a support it's you know, I think LAN is really becoming better and better after recent changes and all the discussion. I think they're trying to finally acknowledge that, hey, or it might not be really okay with you guys and they're trying to fix things. So I'm still on to joining at some point in the future. Hopefully things will get normal. It will not be as crazy as it, <clears throat> as it is right now. I might just get the prop droid actually, you, you know, because I think it's just the most unique one. Not too late. Hey, coffee. Get some sleep if you can. I mean, you know. I'm not sure if I'm gonna finish on this stream actually, cause uh, it's like middle of the day. Um, I, I, I might need to take a break, cause my, my kids are are actually upstairs, like just chilling and and doing some some coloring and all this stuff. They're pretty good at, at like uh, they have actually a Zoom call with a friend right now, so that's nice. But uh, today. I, I think I, I may take a break to like make some lunch for them then come back maybe we'll see it's like a chill day at home you know hey Brian how you doing man what's up dude it's weird seeing me live that early am I right how is stuff is the animation good Brian by the way like I I, I don't think I asked you everything good in any case I can always uh, fix anything you, you need, man. And I'm the secret... <laughs> I am the secret, not so secret, uh, motion graphics helper for Brian. So let me know if anything, anything you need, man. You're the bomb. Thanks, man. Glad, glad. Like, because you sent me the files, and I was like, I, because <laughs> you, yeah, you sent me because like, um, you didn't know how to how to do it, and and I was like, sure, Brian, I got you, man. And I was, I, I opened like all my like After Effects and all this, like, okay, I need to remind. How did I do this? <laughs> I was like, wait, this, this, this is easy. Like, I, I, I literally explained to Brian how to do it, and then like. I was like point blank was like staring in the in the void like uh oh right like wait i gotta go to 
Illustrator, fix that PNG. And <laughs> I was like, I was staring blank at the screen for like 10 minutes. Like, how did I do this? Hey, Callum, welcome. I know I'm the credits. Thank you, by the way, for that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Just need to brew some coffee. <laughs> Don't stay too late though. I did a mistake yesterday. I did stay late. Holy smokes. Because I committed myself to like waking up early and actually doing something in the mornings. And yesterday after the stream I felt like energetic and everything. So I I launched some gaming uh, on Stadia. And I stayed up until like 1am. I was like, man, I shouldn't have been doing this. Oh boy. So I didn't wake up like fully awake today but I think today I'm gonna actually go nicely to sleep great way to win down after work awesome dude got to be of service it's four in the morning but I'm not missing one of your streams Modro thank you dude wow that's crazy <laughs> oh my god I, I, I literally had people falling asleep to my stream because I know they were like watching on a phone or something in the bed and and they would like fall asleep and wake up like when I'm still streaming like oh you're still on I just fell asleep on my couch or on my bed <laughs> lurking mod hey as always dude it, it, it does help when you guys just tune into the stream but do something else on your device it's it's cool because it, it's actually well still means uh, exposure for me like numbers right so I appreciate it even so we don't have to chat oh that's that's clever oh wow so it's just sliding in here that's kind of cool is that like because this thing okay so it's gonna travel a bit huh All right, let's see how it's gonna work in the end. Kinda cool. Uh, okay, we're moving to the front. Yeah, it, it does look good and I can't wait to see the, like, cause it's gonna be even longer because the nose cone, right? But I like how they achieve those angles here. It's pretty clever. Um, so as you can see, those red red points, those red points here, like those elements are also studs. So they're gonna hold things at an angle. There's one here you can see I'm putting the brick right here. So it holds this together. Then there is the, I think there's a, a joint somewhere there and there's like a, a modified two by two piece that also has an open in the middle and captures a stud right here so that way they get this angle right plus like some cheese pieces here like you know um, some cheese pieces right on this side it actually makes things smooth and and clever like it and solid so that's how you achieve like angles in lego that's pretty uh that is pretty clever actually you're listening to when, when you're building that's awesome commander sierra welcome yeah, uh, it's, uh, I, I won't make those early streams often because usually I work at this time, but today I have a day off, so. It's, I'm gladly enjoying some Lego, middle of the day. Can't wait to get mine in the mail. Really wish I could build mine during the live stream. Oh man, no worries. Maybe when you're gonna get it, I'm gonna be building something else. You know, who knows? Oh, so that's the landing gear element from, I think, Lego City. Interesting. Front landing gear commencing. Cześć, Don Bolano, jak tam? Tak, wiem, dziwna godzina na stream dla mnie, ale mam dzień wolny, więc sobie streamuję. Zazdroszczę wahadłowca. <laughs> Dzięki. Uh, no, a co, zdobywasz swój jakoś tam? 
Hey Mateusz, witam. Polish viewers joining us. I'm just gonna appreciate them and use some Polish randomly. <laughs> Zrobię się na live. Dzięki. Front landing gear, you guys. That's that's awesome. Progress. What do you think is your favorite type of creator expert? I think at this point, uh, vehicles, cars. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm most excited about cars, honestly. Um, oh, that's the long one. Oops, I messed up. You gotta use the long one here, not the short version. Na <laughs> gwiazdkę. Uh, I think cars still like I, I don't like when I notice what I notice is I, I get most stoked about car announcements like when they show the Porsche I was like yeah I just yeah that gets me more excited I uh, vehicles in general like this shuttle also included in my most favorite list I think um, next would be modular buildings I guess but yeah creator is such a vast is becoming such a vast um, a genre in Lego that everything seems good at this point. I think like right now creator expert is kind of, I still call it creator expert but technically it's becoming the adult 18 plus line of sorts um, but I think it works for that like people like me will still call it creator expert Lego will call it the black box 18 plus whatever did you guys notice that they don't even have a name for this yet for this kind of like full line it's just adults it's kind of weird, huh? I mean, everybody that I know still calls creator expert to some degree. But right now, that line also includes things like, I don't know, the Grand Piano or the Colosseum. Things like that, right? Hey, Peter. Yeah, uh, unusual stream for me. Uh, as I promised, I have a day off. Have some time to stream, so let's do it. Have you got any Monkey Kid sets? I do not, uh, except for the Brickhead. And I think a small poly bag, that's it. Do I plan to get any? Perhaps at some point, I don't know. I do like the minifigures from that package, but for me, like getting uh, play sets right now, especially waves of play sets, it's, it's just like burdensome from a space perspective. I, I just don't have space for that stuff. I, I have to select my space for what I wanna have and most likely it's gonna be mo big models like this. Uh, another trivia. Let's let's read that one. I like those trivia elements. Uh, some fun facts about the space shuttle program. Uh, as a glider, the shuttle only had one chance to land. Once the landing gear was deployed, it could not be retracted. Exactly like what I said. Whoever is watching yesterday's streams, that's exactly the fact I was stating. Once they deploy the landing gear, it's now going back. The shuttle was not using engines to land. The engines are only for space flight getting to the orbit and actually they they were only used after they they jettisoned the main uh, the main attached uh, engine the, the big one the, the the two like booster sorry the two boosters connected to the, to the fuel tank that were jettisoned they were actually reusable by the way which is fun and after that happened the shuttle fired the three engines to get to the orbit and then had two smaller engines to uh, to like correct the course while in orbit but when flying back to Earth, it was basically a glider. So they would just, they would just, it's like a giant metal glider. It would just glide through the atmosphere and align itself with the landing pad, with the landing strip. And then gravity deployed, spring gear. Once deployed, you gotta land. There is no coming back. Uh, that's, that, that's, that's why it's, so, it's such a cool vehicle. <clears throat> Do I have a Lego City? I wish. I used to work on one at Brick Vault, but um, I do not own a Lego City myself. The only space I would try to do it uh, in is my garage, I guess. But that would take um, space for the cars. <laughs> I don't have a basement though, so that's that's probably the main reason I wouldn't get it. 
I, I wish, like, at some point in my life, I would love to have a LEGO city. If I, if I can, like, have space for it. Space is the biggest factor, I would say. Just having space for that, like, I, I, I'm really envious of people who have, like, basements for their LEGO rooms. That's, like, something truly amazing. I think the most jelly I am for, like, somebody's LEGO space is Brixie. This guy basically has like, a, I don't know, like some crazy footage, square footage uh, basement that he can not only host a giant Lego studio with streaming setup and everything, plus like a Lego city and everything else. Like, dude, if I, if I was able to get that such, such a house in California, I would have to pay like $3 million or something. It's impossible. It's impossible. He's Canadian. I, I chose California to live, and you have to be a millionaire to have a house like this. <laughs> I'm glad what I, with what I have. The fact that even I have a garage, I'm super happy with that <laughs> right now. And even that I have a home office, that's also big boost for whatever I do in my life. But having a basement is like goals I will probably never um, get to, <laughs> I guess. Living in 20 minutes? Hey, no worries, man. Always, always uh, appreciate any sort of uh, presence from you guys. Be it like 20 minutes, 5 minutes, you name it. Thank you. And my mom got COVID and we we're in quarantine. Oh man, that's sorry to hear that. Thankfully, no big problems for her. I tested negative while she is positive. Oh man, that sucks. How is, uh, how is the vaccination situation looking at your, in your place? I just got first shot of Moderna vaccine uh, Monday. I had some like uh, arm pain, that's it. And I had some headache for like few hours, but that's about it. Um, so I'm, I'm taking my second shot uh, in end of April. I think they scheduled me for the end of April. Uh, I mean, things are looking okay in California here, so I wish the rest of the world can really um, have it easier for vaccinations. Uh, every single adult over 16 years of age will be eligible um, to get a shot starting April 15th for California. So it's, it's very soon. I was able to get it because my company got approved for that. And also I'm asthmatic, so I was eligible. Um, you're going to work since you're negative? That's kind of weird. If, if I had like a positive COVID case in my household, I would not be allowed to go to work. Honestly, I would have to report it. Even though I'm vac I'm like half vaccinated, like I'm not fully vaccinated yet. Interestingly, the only place I saw Discovery on the site was the space sub -deam. It would be in the creator expert who would have definitely made it easier to find. Mm -hmm. When am I going to be doing members live stream? Hey, don't, 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 don't uh, be sorry to ask. I gotta figure out, um, probably I'm gonna, I'm gonna post a poll or something to you guys members uh, uh, with few dates very soon. Like I'm, I'm thinking more like a, on a weekend, like maybe after bricks and coffee or something like that. So dedicate more time to, to get, catch up with you uh, members guys. So, and I'm probably gonna ask a question, like if you guys prefer maybe a Zoom meeting or, or just like a chill stream when I answer like just we, we chat and or maybe a discord chat with cameras so you guys can like whoever wants to be on camera they can but it's not like necessary. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna post on, on my discord with some questions. How I'm gonna do it. I know I've been kind of neglecting that live streams with members. Uh, but it's, it's happening soon so now that I, the studio is done and I, I can focus on other things. Um, this is the next priority for you guys to like catch up with a schedule that works for everyone. So we can just have member only live streams about anything you like, like live, Lego, production, video production, anything. He does have a pretty sweet setup. Have you seen Bevin's, Bevin's rigs? He builds himself a Lego barn. Bevin's Ricks. Is he, is he on YouTube? I kinda wanna see that. 
Be Bevins, Ricks. Hold on. Let me just get my keyboard real quick. Bevins, Ricks. I I see the channel. Hey YouTubers and welcome to Bevins. Oh yeah, that's his video. Um. That's the guy. Does he have like a Lego City tour? Lego City update, let's see. Hello everyone! I'm just gonna mute him because I don't know if he has any music or anything. Holy smokes! What? Are, are you trying to make me jealous? Freeways? Holy guacamole. Yeah, that makes me jealous. Uh, like, why did you even tell me that? <laughs> like, look at the size of his, like, ceiling and... Oh my god. An overhead freeway? Are you kidding me? Dude, like, are you living in the Arctic Pole, like, where properties are just cheap or something? How do you get that much space? Look at this. It's like a freaking warehouse behind him. It's crazy. Dude. Oh my god. Okay, I'm jelly. Subscribe. <laughs> oh boy. I love guacamole. <laughs> Man, that makes me a bit of a jelly. Lego. Do you love Lego? Obviously, yes. Yes. How's the set so far? It's great. Mm hmm. Old people getting it and teachers. My grandma got the first shot of Pfizer. My mom got a call that she can go as well. Uh, it's a bit too late because she, she she got the virus. Sorry to hear that, man. Like I hope things get better. Yeah, in Poland it's not better either. Like my parents got the the, the scheduled um, appointment, but like they're still way behind in Poland. That's fine, take your time, I'll wait till you're ready to do those streams, it's fine, honestly. Dude, like, yeah, but, you know, you guys are supporting me, and this is one of the perks I promised. So, I really wanna get it right, so that way I can sustain uh, member streams. So, it's not like we do, like, one stream, and then nothing for weeks, right? My problem is my schedule, like, I'm terrible at planning, so... When, like, I figure out bricks and coffee, that uh, a schedule that works for me, and it, it's pretty consistent, hopefully. Number nine, by the way. Number nine. Uh, so I want to do the same with member streams. Like, like something in the calendar that just always is there, right? This video was copyrighted by Bevin's Bricks. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> hey, I subscribe to him. I support, okay? It's his garage. Still, like, this garage looks like a warehouse. Like a freaking hangar. To be honest, I was home with my mom for 10 days, I never really had any problems, just cough a bit, but only for 1-2 days, since I got a negative test, I can leave my home and do stuff. Some people just have asymptomatic, like, uh, infection, or really go through really quickly, so maybe you're good. Yeah, he has R, I know, like, I saw those thumbnails, I'm gonna watch this guy maybe later, like, when I catch up with LEGO YouTubers, but yeah, I saw his airport, <laughs> that's pretty cool, like, on the thumbnail. Um... <laughs> Useless shuttle knowledge. Discovery was the third fully operational shuttle, hence its name designation OV-103, the orbital vehicle. It spent just over one year total in space during 39 missions. Thanks, Ryan. That's awesome. Fun facts. Ooh, look at all the white. Let's go. Finally, feel like I'm building the, the upper cooler portion. How do I dust my Lego collection? I don't. <laughs> no, seriously, like I do, but but uh, not as frequently as I supposed to. But I just do like a a, a duster, like a, a giant fluffy brush, with just like. 
I'm more concerned not only about my Lego collection, but I, I do have glass shelves, for example, in one of the, you'll see in the studio tour, uh, on one of the bigger shelves I have here, and that glass gets dusty! That's crazy dusty. And that's my biggest problem, because I have to, like, take everything off and wash the glass to, like, make it, keep it look good. Glass attracts all kinds of dust. Yeah, I, I don't try to grow like a giant collection of in hand productions. Like I, I see people having giant cities and warehouses and going crazy for every set. I'm very selective, not only because I can't afford all this <laughs> yet, um, but also because I don't want to like clutter my collection. I, I think like there is a term when you buy everything and I know when I have too much stuff, I feel cluttered. It's starting to become uh, visible with my filming gear. Like I have, I, I'm using like 85, 90% of my gear actively, uh, but still I have like a, like a closet with a, a shelf and a drawer for, for cables and mounts and camera screws. So like, I know I'm, I, I buy only things I need, but in the long term, like sometimes you upgrade and you get left with a bunch of extra stuff. So if I was buying all the Lego ever, I would have the same feeling, like I would feel that my LEGO collection is cluttered and the good sets are kind of lost in translation between all the small stuff that's not as good, right? Um, so I'm, I'm very selective with what I buy. Like I almost entirely skip lately waves of sets. I know like I can probably get some more views on the channel by buying most stuff like and getting it, but I don't know how like, I don't know how for example Just The Good does it, I don't know. I know he, he has, a, has a house and everything, and, and he buys everything. I have no freaking clue how in the world he stores all that, or even enjoys everything that he has. I don't know, like, I, I, I appreciate him for being an amazing creator, but man, how do you, like, how do you make your Lego not overflow your, your place? Like, <laughs> with buying absolutely everything that comes out. I, I mean, almost everything. Like, he buys a lot. I buy like maybe 5% of what he buys, for example. And he's also like a long-term land member, used to be, because he left. So that also, you know, adds up, right? Hey Galactus Senklocki, witaj, mega zestaw, dzięki. Mam nadzieję, że też kiedyś swój zdobędziesz. Pozdrawiam i życzę szczęścia, no. Makeup brush? I actually like, yeah, when I, like a very specific set, uh, that I like to keep clean. I have like a little uh, camera lens brush, which I, I use to clean my camera lenses, like uh, around the sensitive parts, uh, like like the mount for, for the camera. Like I clean them with like a very soft uh, brush. So I use that for Lego as well. And a little like uh, air puffer to like, that I use to like puff air onto my lenses so that I get the debris or dust off after like vlogging or something. Uh, I use the same for Lego. <laughs> Another fun fact, wow, those fun facts are awesome. When the orbiter enters the atmosphere at Mach 25, its velocity is so high that it superheats, there's a plane, uh, that it superheats the surrounding air and returns to the earth in the glow of plasma. Yep, that's, that's why you see those crazy, that's why it needs all those heat shields for that because it gets super hot. Mach 25, can you imagine 25 times the speed of sound? This year it will be pretty expensive on the Star Wars side. Moff Gideon's Cruiser, UCS. Do you have a confirmation for Moff Gideon's Cruiser? Is that gonna be the next Mandalorian ship, is that it? UCS 8080, yeah, that's gonna be 700 bucks or something. UCS gunship, 350, oh my God. That's why, exactly that's why I'm rather skip it, like smaller stuff just to be like, have the budget to buy the bigger stuff. I don't even know if I'm gonna buy the 8080, not only the cost, but I, like where I'm gonna place it, <laughs> holy smokes, like, I don't know. Like the stream, yes, can you please? That would be great. So yeah, just buy light bluish gray sets like the UCS Falcon, best color ever, you can see dust. <laughs> I, I know. I'm looking at my ISD at the top of the shelf and I, I don't I, I I rather not know what's happening on top of it right now. I bet it's super dusty. It stands close to the window and you know the window just blows dust into the the, the house probably when it's open. 
<laughs> I don't even wanna know. Let's just stay there, we're good. We good. <laughs> Seventy percent of the price. Well, I, I don't know if it's gonna be discounted anytime soon. We'll see, right? One sixty, so it's like the um, like the Razor Crest. I think it's gonna be a playset, right? Seems like a Razor Crest price. Yeah, this guy right here, standing behind me. If you don't see the dust, it doesn't exist. Exactly, problem solved. <laughs> Buy four of those 8080s and use them as table legs. Okay, will that fix my wobbliness issue with like the table like wobbling the cameras a bit? That would be a crazy idea, but pretty cool, still. A bit of a juice sip, uh, this time not water, I usually drink water, but this this like multi-vitamin juice is just so good. And I blended this with water anyway, it was like a, like a fresh juice. I'm assembling my Jurassic Park gate set. Was that to the point of losing color? Wow, ow, ow. Oh, <gasps> yeah, prints. Those were, oh my, that's awesome. They were all like upside down, I didn't even notice. Yo, prints. Oh, beautiful. Oops, this way. <laughs> yep, there we go. USA, Discovery, the old NASA worm. So they used the old NASA logo in the, uh, the SpaceX uh, Dragon missions as a, as like a homage to NASA spaceflight because SpaceX Dragons were the comeback of human American human spaceflight after the the last landing of the shuttle. Prince or awesome, right on. So we're fitting the wings. There we go. Apologies about the doggies. My neighbors are home, I guess. They're super happy. It's like a tiny... I, I know this dog. It's like a super tiny dog, but it, this guy is so loud. Why is this that the tiniest dogs are the loudest? They just like bark and bark and chuff and chuff. Like, I don't even know. I guess they're like trying to like fill up their ego with being super loud. Every time, right? Did you guys notice? Every time there is a tiny dog, you can bet you can bet it's gonna always bark on the bigger one. And the bigger one is like, what is this guy about? Every time I see like dogs on walks, there's like a big giant like golden retriever and he's just chilling and there's like a little tiny chihuahua like Aah! every time. Every time. Cause they like I, like, like like they know a, a retriever will never like give a give a bark, you know? <laughs> They're always the loudest. Cool prints, yep. Oh. That's that's incorrect. We gotta add out a 2x6 in there. I don't see that. Um, is that it? Yep. Yeah, so this is... Uh, I think those are the only large prints, plus the canopy, in this set. Everything else is stickered, unfortunately. As far as I can tell. Nice. But these are good. These are like the large panels, so they, they went with the... It's kind of like a matte finish, because these bricks are matte finish. So the print looks especially good. Right? They look especially good on this. Absolutely. 
Hej Rafał, jak tam? Same here as Galaktyczne Klocki. Waiting will be cheaper, more or less three months from now. But I consider buying the Duplo Shuttle first and have a chance to play with my daughter. That's awesome, dude. Welcome to chat, witaj. Ile w Polsce kosztuje ten, ten zestaw? To będzie pewnie z 1000 zł, nie? 800, coś takiego? Ja jestem totalnie od, od z dala od, od polskich cen. Nie mam pojęcia, ile teraz rzeczy kosztują w Polsce. Jak się mieszka w Stanach tyle lat, to tak zapomina ciągle, że Lego jest drogie w Polsce. Nobody expects Spanish Inquisition as always. Welcome, dude. They compensate for the lack of sight. Um, do you think the daily bug will be better than the Ghostbusters HQ? Good question. I don't know. Like, I only seen some leaks of it. Honestly, I, I, I don't know. The Ghostbusters HQ was awesome. I'm not like, the daily bugle is not that much of an iconic building, don't you guys think? I know it's a, like a cool little like Marvel location, but I, I think people, nerds, everybody that liked Ghostbusters knew the interior of the Ghostbusters HQ and were so connected to this set Then I, I'm a big Marvel fan and I don't know if I'm gonna be like emotionally connected to a daily bugle office. So, well, like we see like, uh, what's the name of that Spider-Man's editor? James J Jameson? J J J I don't know, J Jameson? Um, we, we see his office uh, when Peter Parker visits it and that's it. What else do we see? What, what else do we see in the movies from Daily Bugle? Like we see uh, the, the offices and maybe the entrance and, and what, what else? Like, like, you guys understand? Like, we don't, I don't see the, the emotional connection to that location. Like, 800, 800? I wish LEGO realized the space problem for some of their bigger sets. They could see wall mounts, for example, on the big 1.8 Technic cars. I, I agree. I mean, they use the wall mount system for the Batwing. So, would be cool if it was possible to make like a Bugatti or the Lamborghini. Uh, like vertically, you know, displayed. I think there are custom companies that make kind of like a mount for those cars. And even there is a company that makes like giant, like printed hard surface posters to display your stuff, like on a wall. I, I think the debugger will be, will be a super detailed facade similar to the Arkham Asylum. Maybe, prob possibly, or maybe like a modular of sorts, or maybe kind of like that. Remember that set from the Avengers lineup, uh, the Sanctum Sanctorum. Was that the Sanctum Sanctorum, or just like the New York Street element? That was cool. I kind of understand what that Mike's saying in Polish because I'm originally in Slovakia. Awesome, Goofy, welcome. <laughs> Lego faktycznie drogie w Polsce, niestety w ostatnim roku z powodu covid nie było zbyt wielu dobrych promocji, ostatnio wszedł w końcu polski Amazon, że mieć coraz fajniejsze ceny. Oj, to Amazon jest już w Polsce? Hmm. I have a friend uh, in... Um, we're in touch, like he's, the, he's working in the War Warszawa Mokotów Lego store. And he's coming to... He, we met on Comic-Con actually, funny enough. And uh, sometimes he's watching the streams. Um, we are in touch. I'm sending him some sets from like uh, exclusives that I was able to purchase for myself and for for him. And I'm I'm, I'm preparing like a larger package to Poland for him. So that's like it's it's good to have like he helped me get some Harry Potter sets when they came out first in Poland and he sent them to me through my brother to the U.S. So we kind of like help each other out. Muszę przyznać, że skrzydła wyglądają bardzo dobrze. Wymodelowanie jest prawie idealne. No. Zaraz właśnie skończę i zobaczymy, jak to dalej będzie wyglądało, ale jest spoko do tej pory. Yeah, the wings are pretty, pretty decent. Can I link a really cool wall mount? Uh, I don't think you can link uh, on in the chat because I have to give you permissions, but you can you can send it to my Instagram DM if you want, and I can I can show it on the stream. Probably easiest way. Look up my Instagram. It's like right there, social media on the top, and I can open your DM and, and show it up. 
Yeah, I think only mods can can add links to the chat and me. Hello, Kivi, my boy. Welcome. Welcome back. Austria and Slovakia, so okay. Like Eastern European Amazon. That's cool. I didn't even know that Amazon operates in Poland now. That's cool. For me, it's like I I I use Amazon all the time. It's it's almost crazy. It's insane in the US. Like the cables I needed for the studio, the cable for this camera and the cables for the monitor that I was missing to like get the setup going. I I I I, I don't kid you guys at all. Like I ordered like Tuesday evening and Wednesday 2 p.m. the package is at my door. This is freaking insane. Like how does it even work? I go there, I find some random cables, I like I need those cables. Free shipping, boom. It took less than like 12 hours or, or something. I don't even know. I don't even know how this works. I, I, I freaking love that functionality. Like you need something. I knew I needed this before this stream. I was like, okay, I gotta order today and it's coming. That probably takes two days to ship or whatever. Nope, it's like less than a day <laughs> with Prime membership. It's insane. Yeah, Amazon, right? That's why they're, well, <laughs> that's why their stock price is like $3,000. That's why, exactly that's why. Because it's the, like the most functional company right now, I think, for consumer goods. It's insane. What do you expect? I don't know. I'm just like looking at this a few years back. It's unfathomable that you can order things so quickly and get it the next day for free. Yeah, like everything is like I'm finishing the, the wings and you can see how, how everything fits together. Like I love, actually, I love how this wedge fits exactly in that assembly. This is just like so satisfying. It's like, it's insane how satisfying this all fits. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. This is, this is great. Mm -hmm. This is actually amazing. What time is it, by the way? I may need like a take a. I may need to take a break. Um, maybe like 30, 40 minutes. Um, to like do some lunch for the kids and stuff like that. But I'm gonna be back probably. send the link okay i'm gonna check it out it's like a puzzle i know like that's why i like lego because models like this sometimes you just see the designers um like genius approach with certain bricks how it all like just just fits together uh, perfectly because they they did those angles and they had to like figure out how it all can can connect in the end and it just like you just come to this point like when it just, just all flushes out even though it's all angled and so good. Now I really want this set. <laughs> Mike's me, makes me want this set even more. It's a great set, guys. You don't need me to really be convinced. I think Lego did a fantastic job so far with this one. I, I mean, let's let's keep going. Bag number ten. Looks wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. It just like everything comes together, and this is when I can tell a, a good set from a bad set. When when you build it. And you get to the point when like all those little assemblies you've been making for the past few hours just come together and 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 provide a, a cohesive you know display value like it's it's really like you will forget about all this when the set like stays on display for a few months but you can always remember that like yeah like when somebody asks you, oh that's a cool set like can you imagine how cool it's built inside to make this this shape <laughs> right so that, that's the value of Lego for, for an, an Apple like me. Can you show me the extra pieces at the end? Uh, I, I'm afraid not because I'm, I'm basically mixing them at this point with the everything else. So I'm, I'm basically, since all the nine bags so far, I toss them all in here. That's my little cup of, of, of shame. 
of extra pieces. So I don't, I don't, I think they're already mixed in. So I'm sorry. Back then high. Need to get 200 bucks. The one YouTube that drops the ship for fun. I bet there's gonna be someone like that. I bet. I'm not gonna be the one, don't worry. <laughs> no, I don't like I do not like destroying Lego. Looks good after 20 minutes of me lurking. That's awesome. Minder, welcome back. Where did you get the cool balls where you put the parts? Uh so that this is this those are like actually like four bucks. Ross. This is like a, a US like outlet store, but the company is uh, Woodard, I forgot to, to even remove the tag, Char Woodard Charles, but I found this in like a, like a, it's, a, it's a, like a clothing home decor store in the US. Uh, so I was, Jung inspired me because he's using bamboo trays. You can get bamboo trays from Amazon. So I was like almost ordering them, but my wife took me shopping and she was shopping for some clothes or some like home decor. And I, I, I just, found these in the kitchen section and they are supposed to be for like dips like guacamole whatever they're made from like solid filipino wood um and i got these because they were on a huge discount look it was like six bucks down to four bucks and i got like this one was like seven i think uh or eight and they're great like they're like shaped like this so you can like you know you can get the pieces like this and the finish is like soft finish it's like lacquered with a matte finish um like wood treatment but but th these were like one time shot like random section of a home decor store you can perhaps possibly look up this company uh woodard charles like woodard charles this is like the store sticker but this is the the maker um yeah uh, but I don't know if I I just saw them on the show. I was like, yes, these are perfect. And but if you, if not, you can buy the ones that Jang is using. Just type bamboo Japanese bamboo trays on Amazon, and you can get like a set for 20, 30 bucks. These were much cheaper actually. Uh, but yeah, ever since I've been building on on these, it's just like better building experience because the bricks do not escape because they're like kindly like a bowl. And also, like every time I touch this, it just feels nice. So I like good craftsmanship. So it's a, it's a good quality wood. And I've been using them ever since I, I got them and they're great, they're amazing. Oh, we're connecting the, the landing gear, finally, nice. <laughs> Have to buy the shuttle plus the balls. But yeah, like things like that for like, you guys should like just go to like a random like outlet um home improvement stores or just like home decor stores like ross is like a clothing home decor but on discount and just like just walk around and you can see so many useful things especially if you're looking for something like for your kitchen your living room even like right me like studio like i i find useful stuff like this thing that thing on the wall with the like and subscribe that the, the, it can like turn on the lights and stuff like that I got this from the same store for like eight bucks. That's like, you know, <laughs> so you can, you can find things like this. You don't have to go to Amazon all the time. Just go to your local, like home improvement store. Okay. We're, we're connecting the landing gear. It's the springs are working. Gotta kind of bend it and connect. See, so that's how that's how it's gonna work. You're going to hate doing the silver stickers. I bet. I can't wait, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be bad. I I, I can tell I'm gonna, not gonna like it. Uh, I think it's gonna come soon. Yeah. I really want to turn my corner uh, into a mini studio for YouTube since I'm in my bedroom. Gee, funny you should ask, Goofy Brick. I had exactly video on this. 
like there's a video on my channel before I make the, the, the studio tour for this studio you can literally see how I was doing what I'm doing in the corner of my bedroom let me just look it up for you uh, where did I oh before I moved so that was the one of the last videos before Where is that video? Um, oh my god, it was so far ago? I like, I can't find it now. Maybe my thumbnail is just blending with me. Where is that video? Oh my god. Can you guys look it up for me? <laughs> I don't know where my video is about my my old studio. Okay. Cool factor studio tour? I don't know. Oh, there it is. So you you can This is my video that I, I did when I was still in the bedroom in the apartment. So I, I break down like all my gear. Um, I obviously like you don't have to buy all the stuff I mentioned here, but uh, it's like his chapter. So I, I show you like, exactly how much space I had and what I was using, but all that gear in that video, I was acquiring over the course of like a year or more. Um, so this is like what I used to have See, it's like a corner. Basically, the, my bed was was, be, was was like to the left right now. Like, was behind uh, my desk. So I was basically squeezing in to get by the bed to my to my chair to like stream, make videos. Oh, you can see the shot here. So yeah, my bed was like to the right. I had like my my sound dampening because everything else just was like flat wall, and I had just like that was, that's all the space I have. That was like the uh, closet and that's all I had for uh, for a year. This is kind of crazy. And all the videos you have seen for a year or more, like since the beginnings of the Cool Factor, that was from this small table. Right now, this is this table. That's the table. And I had the second exact one for my computer setup. So I just have a full room right now. So look it up, like maybe it's gonna help you out. Uh, all the gear, like it was a few hundred dollars overall. But I acquired that gear over the course of, uh, you know, like many months. So. The boss, the studio, everything. <laughs> Thanks, Goofy Brick. Hey, I appreciate uh, that you enjoy it. I mean, I, I want to help more people get into YouTube, you know. That's that's like if, if I see more people doing content because of me, that's awesome. Like I can, I would love to inspire to to like get get going from the ground up. Like if you have a corner bedroom, that's perfect. Some people, a lot of people actually, do not have any space in the house to make a, like a mini YouTube studio. If you have a corner of the bedroom, if you have, if you have your own bedroom, dude, you're in for a treat. It, it, like for, it, for me, it was even worse. That is our bedroom. That's like like my my wife's bedroom. So our bed was like next to it. And my wife basically agreed to, to, to run my YouTube studio to help me like create the channel. She, she told me like, yes, you can take a corner of our bedroom and make it a YouTube studio. So it was even more challenging. Uh, so if I could do it, you can do it too, you know? <laughs> That's like the whole idea. And yeah, like right now it's a huge upgrade for me because this is my own home office. And I've been dreaming of a place like this uh, for, for, for such a long time that I can just like close the door and it's all me. Like everything in this studio is is for, for creating stuff or working or it's just like a night and day difference. I have a lot of space, but no money. You know what? I, I also didn't buy everything at once. Like I was saving up. I was basically like adding to like a little fund here and there to be able to afford uh, like studio gear in the end, but I was buying gradually. So I was like first camera because obviously you need a camera. And then, you know, as time goes, like you add lights. I had like super cheap Amazon lights. Now I have more fancy like Elgato lights. So I still have my old lights somewhere, but I was like gradually like 
trying to find cheap things to work for me. Basically, you need like just three things at the beginning. Good cam, like solid camera. You can get very solid cameras under $500 right now. You can get some cheapo Amazon lights. They're gonna work great for you for the beginning. And some, some good microphone with, with just good for good audio. And those are also not expensive. Like you can get uh, a Blue Yeti Nano microphone, which is like $90. It's not expensive. I still, I'm still using my Audio Technica microphone for like bricks and coffee streams, and this thing is like hundred bucks. It's, it's, in the grand scheme of things, it's not too bad. We're already spending on Lego, so if you're serious about it, uh, you, under like a thousand dollars, you can fit in like a very good studio, like a very good studio, like insanely good studio, under a thousand bucks. And that's, that's like if you're like working and saving here and there, that's not that much money, honestly for making like, you know, for starting on YouTube, I would say. My whole room is empty. Dude, like you're lucky to have an empty room. Like if I've seen, if I had like an empty room right now to expand, I would be so happy. I would be just like, yes, space. This is amazing. Uh, but I have my studio, which is cozy and small, but it's great for me. So yeah, go for it. I mean, gradually, like don't feel like you have to buy stuff right away and just uh, like first, first and foremost, and the first general rule of doing anything on YouTube, uh, start small and master as you go and add things to your workflow as you feel the need for them. Don't just go and like watch a few YouTube videos and okay, I'm just gonna buy this camera and buy this fancy light, spend like a $2,000 just to start. And then what? You buy it and you see like, well, I don't like it. I don't like doing YouTube. So, and now you end up with like $2,000 of gear that you have to sell. Um, so don't do it. Just start small, like buy like a used camera, use your cell phone, whatever it takes to just figure out if you even like making videos, you know? Because a lot of people say like, yeah, I'm gonna make videos. And then it's start like, oh snap, it takes just actually a lot of time and effort. And oh boy, I shouldn't have bought all this gear, you know? So start small, really. Start small, learn, uh, grow from that, uh, then maybe upgrade if you feel like it, but only if you need it, you know? I bought my GH5 camera after four years of running like a budget G7. And GH5, when I bought it, it was like a six-year-old camera already and still a great camera because Lumix was ahead of the game with the GH5. And normally this camera would cost $2,500. I got it for a thousand bucks because it's it was already six years on the market but this camera will serve me for the next four to five years because the quality i don't need any more quality than this i'm just buying lenses at this point i'm, I'm just going with like budget sigma lenses which are fantastic for the price and i i don't even buy like a lot of lenses. i have like three lenses right now which is one is stock lens from Lumix. second one is a cheapo 25 mil macro and the third one is my most expensive so far lens, like 300 bucks for a Sigma 16 millimeter, which is like super high quality lens for the price. But that's me. I've been that I only bought, bought all this stuff after I've been doing YouTube for like four years, you know, <laughs> only after that, because I knew like, yeah, I could use, I, I know how to use it now. I feel like my, my channel could use it. And then I found like a, like a used great condition Lumix GH5 got it and and i'm super happy with it ever since i, I bought it from a, another content creator basically who was upgrading to something even fancier so you do not need all the fancy gear at the beginning just start somewhere and see where you go i have everything to shoot on a smartphone go for it yeah Yeah, you guys have space. You can, you can, if you, if you have, if you have a Lego room, <clears throat> if any of you, like you guys seem to have Lego rooms. If you have a Lego room, you already have a studio. You don't even know it. I did not have anything. I just started from scratch, from a bedroom. Matt Diavella, he's amazing, by the way. My favorite, one of my favorite creators. 
yeah, he's he's very open about. He's a, I, I learned a ton of him about, uh, about cameras and B-roll and like Matt was like, he's like Peter McKinnon, like Peter McKinnon, Case Neistat, Matt Diavella, they all inspired me to learn filmmaking in any way, like just operating the cameras. These guys are amazing. And yeah, he's very open about his anxiety and, and he talks life stuff. I'm like, I'm kind of like him. I also suffer from like anxiety, um, I do have episodes when I'm like really anxious and tired and I do have those and, and it's kind of like I've been through burnout in the past um, so I can relate so he's a great creator for me for streaming though don't you have to have a decent computer so that your stream won't lag and be choppy uh, more, more importantly you, you need to have a good internet connection that's it no, like right now, uh, a budget computer from like Best Buy will run your stream just fine. As long as you're not gaming, that is. No, you can stream from a laptop. I, I bought my wife like a $600 laptop the other day, which is like a budget version of like the Acer or a Asus. And if I could, I could stream from it. Connection is more important. Pro like OBS software, like software nowadays, like if you run OBS, that's so optimized for Windows and even Mac computers that it, it takes little to no resources for you to stream. No. So, so streaming and coding video is through software, it became very efficient. So you don't need, as long as you're not gaming for Twitch and like you don't run your game while streaming on the same computer. A lot of people have like actually two computers. A lot of people have a streaming rig and a gaming rig that captures the video from the streaming from the game the streaming rig captures the video from the gaming rig too, so you can game and not take any resources and the other computer is streaming but that's a high-end stuff as long as you're like a, like a guy like me with just a camera and lego set like i'm running from an imac right now but you can have like a very basic windows laptop and you can stream as well no absolutely you don't need a powerful pc or a mac uh, to stream in fact any macbook air even will stream just fine because you just need to run OBS, it does all the encoding for you. And you need like a device that connects your HDMI signal to your computer, which is like a Camlink or a, or a Blackmagic uh, interface, which is more expensive. But, but all the encoding for cameras usually is done through that device that connects to your computer. And the rest of it, like encoding and sending the signal to YouTube, is done via software, which honestly, that software doesn't need a lot of resources anymore. It's got optimized over the last few years. So, and you can even stream from a webcam, like, and that, that, that takes no resources at all. You can, you can basically stream without using OBS directly to YouTube. You can do it. Cause like YouTube offers, like, if you go to YouTube live panel, you can, you can just start streaming now and you just connect your webcam or whichever USB camera or HDMI camera you have connected to your computer and you just go live. OBS, that fancy software that everybody talking about, OBS is only for things like scenes so i can switch stuff you know I, I can do all these things like a member's promo by the way join the cool factor anyway that that's obs that's obs doing and i have like fancy things like a stream deck whatever that is, you know all those improvements of life but basic streaming you need a very basic computer honestly um yeah hey so oh Lego Ideas results are in? What? Are you guys kidding me? Wow, wait, 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 wait. hold on. Where? Blog? Where? Brickfan? I don't see no Lego ideas. Oh, the I gotta make a video of the the breakdown of the all the April Fools jokes. <laughs> yeah, I gotta I gotta look through these. Who says that Lego ideas castle won? Who says that? I don't see any articles. Maybe it was an April Fool's joke? 
Fake. Yeah, you guys, you guys got me good. I think it's it's a it's an April Fool's joke. I mean, if they really wanted to make a good April Fool's joke, they better said it's Bionicle. <laughs> that would make that would trigger some people, like me. <laughs> Oh, that was just a question? I thought you guys were discussing like Castle Wall. What? You got me confused in the chat for a sec. I'm 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 happy. I'm, I would be happy with either classic space or or castle. Fine for me, honestly. Either works. <laughs> no, because I like if, I, I didn't know it was a question. I thought it was like somebody acknowledging that we have results, and I thought like what? Shen Connell from Think Media. Uh, yeah, he's great. I met him. Uh, yeah, we, we talked. Sean is great. Uh, I met him on Vid Summit 2018, before pandemic. I went to Vid Summit in LA, and that's where I met. Like Sean, I, we talked about like productivity a bit because I did ask him like, hey, how like some piece of advice for an upcoming creator? Uh, we were like in a hotel lobby having a coffee. Really cool guy. Really cool guy. Uh, he runs the Think Media channel. Yeah, yeah. He's very open, very open-minded. Great talk. I, 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 he did, he did take the time. We talked for about like 20, 25 minutes. Oh yeah, in person. Yeah. I, I may. Um, I think you can go if you go to my 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 Polish channel. That kinds of it's kind of dead right now. Michal Ritter. It's like linked in my Cool Factor channel. You can go to my Polish channel, and I did a vlog from Vid Summit. And I think he's in the he's in in part of the vlog because I did talk to him. Um, I met like I was there to see like all the like um, keynotes. Gary Vaynerchuk was talking, really cool talk, very inspiring. Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, Sean was also having Sean Connor was having a, a panel. Uh, Mr. Beast was there as a Mr. Beast was like in the lobby. We did talk for a sec. Uh, friends of mine were filming like a like a like a prank video with him, so I helped them with that. So Mr. Beast was he was like nine million subscribers back then. Now it's like fifty million. Um, Case Neistat wasn't there, but he was invited. Peter McKinnon was there. I met Peter McKinnon. Uh, I had a selfie with him. <laughs> cool guy. A uh, few other people were like really there, like uh, Cody Warner. I had coffee with Cody Warner as well. He's also like a vlogger. Um, few other guys. Yeah, that was like a big conference, so they do it every year. I paid a lot of money to go there. But it's for like for like YouTube creators and such, and that was a really good experience. I was looking for some inspiration, you know. I was I was trying to like find out my my mindset about YouTube and I, I, I went there just because I really wanted to see what, what like professionals have to say about YouTube. Because I, 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 I take my YouTube seriously and I wanted to learn. So that's why I felt like it was a good idea to go there. So yeah, that was fun. One of the best like memories I have, like meeting all those people and like changing your mindset about YouTube, like listening to all those keynotes and how people succeeded and, and not. Um, Sarah Dici was there too. Sarah Dici is awesome. Uh, we also briefly talked, um, yeah. It was really cool because it was like a closed conference. So it wasn't like, it was like VidCon, like it was like fans and selfies. Basically it was like a paid conference. So everybody of attendees, like between keynotes, you were, you were like literally in the lobby having coffees, beers, uh, snacks, like, and, and just like coming up to like circles of people and like chatting with like Peter McKinnon or I, I met like uh, Jack Conti, that's the, CEO of Patreon. Uh, also, yeah, we t I just talked like one to one with Jack Conti, um, and he was like, I was like, I was asking him like, what's Patreon? Like, what do you think a Patreon will be like in the next few years? Like, do you think it's a good idea for creators? He kind of inspired me to start Patreon actually. Um, but yeah, yeah, I talked to him as well. It was really cool because everybody was so open-minded and. You were just able to like in between keynotes you were just like walking around the lobby and like seeing all those like multi-million subscriber youtubers and 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 media creators content creators just like very like chilling open like re ready to talk to you no 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 like fanboyism no like 
you know, no like, there was no pressure. It was awesome. That's why these events are so good for you. Yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I still like, it's, it's one of the best things I ever did, I guess, when it comes to just like growing on YouTube. Did you get the space coin? No, I didn't, I didn't get any of these coins, no. Confusion level 5000? <laughs> yeah, about the results. Mr. Beast is such a... He's such a down-to-earth guy, like, I don't know how he does it. Like, you, you, you see him, like, being, like... He's not even obnoxious in his videos, he's, like, just growing like crazy and has those crazy ideas. But when you talk to this guy in person, he's like just regular chill dude. He's such a like well-mannered, easygoing, chill dude. He's super like calm and, and, and reserved and I don't know, like his, his work ethic is insane. He's like so successful, but at the same time, he's not like obnoxious or anything. He's just, yeah, super chill dude. Like I was, I was actually surprised. I thought he would be like, yo, yo, what's up? <laughs> no, no, like he, he wasn't like that. He was very chill and, and cool. Uh, we were basically standing in a circle, it was like him and Chandler and a few other guys from the team of Mr. Beast and I w it was me and like the guys from like a ma magician, like Polish magician channel who I met on Vid Summit and they were filming a video of him so I was coming with the cameras and we were just like standing in the circle for like 30 minutes just filming, talking, chatting Mr. Beast was like, Jimmy was talking about like how he grew on YouTube, how he started, he was like, it's really, really cool I was like, like you can see like, if he can do it, like I can do it, you know, it was kind of like a very open-minded moment. Um, like this, this, like just chill dude uh, with just like an idea for the channel was growing like crazy as we were speaking. Um, David at Brickford. Yeah, I wish we could come back to all those um, conventions and just chill and uh, have fun, yeah. Soon enough, soon enough. David is a chill dude as well, yeah. I mean, I never met him personally in person, but yeah, I watch his streams. He comes to be on the break, so we do, we do talk. I think he said he like uh, if I can join his stream sometimes as like a like a Discord chat. Uh, I was like yeah sure, but I I never like I'm online when he's streaming most of the time. I usually watch his streams after the fact. <laughs> Gotta go, Mike. Have a great rest of the build. Yeah, I may take a cro a, a quickie break soonish. Um, see how things are going at the house. Yeah. Okay, what are we building here? Because I was chatting and I, I just full standby mode, like automatic building, probably making a lot of mistakes along the way. Um, Yeah, Goofy Brick, thanks. Yeah, feel free to check out my, my Polish channel and look up the Vid Summit video. You can probably see a bunch of... Sean Cullen is there, there too, so you can probably see him in the vlog. I think I, I did have some footage with him. But we talked mostly about like YouTube growth, like working from like being a home creator, like all that stuff. Like also basically asking how he started. Because uh, his channel is mostly about like teaching smaller creators how to become more professional, he, he, he does a lot of good tips. I, I recommend his channel actually to whoever asks me about cameras and stuff, like how to start, yada, yada, yada. And I say like, yeah, go to Think Media, go to Sean Connor's uh, channel, cause his whole content is built around those questions, just helping people start. And he helped me, actually, like he did help me with his content, uh, a lot of questions I had were actually answered in his videos. And I can I, I consider him a good source uh, of knowledge and information. 
And he basically like, when I met him, he was like exactly as, uh, as I expected. He's very professional and um, very helpful. Yeah, peace out. Have a good one. Would you guys mind if I take a break, uh, like, like in a way, like kill the stream for like 30 minutes and come back uh, after this break? Is that cool? What do you guys think? Because I, I think like it's enough time so I can eat something, like make my kids lunch, like, you know, maybe take, uh, take a walk or something and come back and and stream continue streaming is that cool because i don't want to like leave the stream like on a break for 30 minutes i don't think it's, it's a good idea um but i can i can start a, i can schedule like a new stream like a part three uh because i want to like finish this thing today but i i also want to eat something because it's just middle of the day i don't want to like sit through the whole day not eating anything and just like you know making sure the house is taken care of a few errands you know here and there take some fresh air and come back in in 30 40 minutes is that cool just like i'm gonna schedule a part three that way so i'm gonna end the stream and, and do a new thumbnail and schedule a part three if you guys are cool with that so everybody is on the same page is that fine yeah i think in 30 minutes i can eat something like take a walk maybe quickly on the neighborhood uh get some fresh air stretch my legs um, yeah, so hit the bell so you can see the notifications. I'm gonna post on Twitter and and on on my socials and reschedule the stream. But yeah, we're gonna finish this bag. It's just a few bricks left. I think we're we're doing yeah the whole engine assembly that's gonna actually move things around. Jaką masz godzinę? Galaktyczne klocki u mnie jest teraz. Pierwsza 18 jest po pierwszej. W, w ciągu dnia, oczywiście. Wersja druga. Polska jest teraz ile? E, 9 godzin? 9 godzin różnicy? It's like a lunch time around me, like 1 pm. Just past 1 pm. Lunch time. Yeah, I'm getting hungry. So, and I need like some stretching, you know. Quick quick walk things like that but I'm stoked to build this so I really want to continue today it's a good day to, to just build good Friday and that way I will not be streaming in the evening and that way I can just chill in the evening and watch uh, Winter Soldier you know next episode A break before those chrome stickers also that's the next bag let me check in a sec <laughs> yeah if that's the next thing is the chrome stickers then yeah we probably need a break <laughs> to just get in the zen get in the the good mindset you know so the frustration can be quickly dissipated <laughs> yeah so let's finish this few bricks right now um real quick and i'm gonna end the stream and schedule part three for the same day. Is that cool? Seems like a good idea. Uh, okay, boom, through here. No, wait, through here. Okay, so that's the whole thing that's gonna... This thing's gonna move the flaps and the... Like, how brilliant you have to be to like figure it all out. I don't know. So there's gonna be, you're gonna turn the engine to... I think engage the flaps and also wait did I mess up? no, no this is correct Oh, okay, so they snap in here. Oh, 
Oh, so it's angled like in the real thing. Oh. Yeah, it has to be like slightly angled because the actual real shuttle also had a slight angle of the engines. All right, so we're gonna connect all these. Yeah, thanks. I think we gotta connect it. That's pretty clever. There we go. All right, so. Oh, that's cool. So it's gonna, the flaps will just work. I think that's, that's the way. This is the way. All right. Nice, 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 very nice. Okay. Three engines. Hey, Boogie with Manny, welcome. Best Captain America movie, which one? Oh, I'm talking about, sorry, I'm not, I'm not talking about Winter Soldier, the movie, I'm talking about the show, uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, uh, the next episode is out. So I wanna watch it too, tonight. That's what I meant, sorry. Uh, but yeah, it's still a solid movie, like the Captain America Winter Soldier movie, movie, movie. It's, it's solid, of course. Uh, yeah, so Boogie with Manny, I'm gonna be finishing this stream in a sec, but I'm, I'm doing part three today in like 30, 40 minutes. I'm gonna take a break to eat something and take a walk and whatever, stretch myself and then come back to the build. So I'm gonna schedule that one uh, after I finish today, right in a sec. Uh, engines. Hey, Brickbird. Yeah, we're gonna do that in a sec. Okay, nice. Engines, assembly. Things are looking like a space shuttle, am I right? This third one. Yeah, yeah, so there is the show right now. Ooh, a trivia, again. Did you know we should have like this Starship Troopers joke, like, would you like to know more? And on, on the stream, actually. I think I'm gonna do it. <laughs> uh, did you know, by pumping super cold li liquid hydrogen fuel through 1,080 tubes, 1,080 tubes in the nozzle wall before it enters the main combustion chamber, the engine is kept at cool 50 degrees Fahrenheit or just 10 degrees Celsius. Are you kidding me? That's so cool. So they can keep the engine at very cool uh, temperatures, even though it's pumping tons of thrust. That is cool. I'm not certain about the usage of those barrel pieces for the nozzles, but I think it still looks the most accurate, right? Yeah. So that's how it looks like. Boom. There we go. Pretty solid. Um, yeah, that's cool. Like the way they keep the nozzles, uh, the engine cool cooled uh, under pressure. Space, like space rocket science, is so cool, guys. And remember, this is the design from well years ago. So the current rockets, like the modern SpaceX engines, imagine how, how advanced they are, right? Just imagine. Okay. Beautiful. So I think at this point, we did some great progress. Hey, hey! Brickman. Alright, that was the last piece for this bag. So, you guys, at this point, I'm gonna stop the stream. We're coming back with part three in a... I'm gonna take like maybe 30 or maybe 45 minutes break. Uh, get some food, get some fresh air for a sec. Do I maybe walk quickly? I'm gonna skip it right now, make a quick thumbnail. And I hope to see you there. So midday break, 
kind of like a lunch break, if you will. And we're coming back with bag 11, which has extra prints, by the way. So not only we had prints on the wings, but we have prints on the bricks as well coming up. So stay tuned for the for my oops, I dropped something. Yeah, just the plug. Uh, stay tuned for uh, for the notification. I should schedule it right away. What time is it? So it's it's 126. So how about like 215, maybe 220 p.m. from now? Yeah, so we're gonna probably finish the set today. I'm gonna just take a break, eat something. Um, yeah, and we'll, we'll be back. All right. Yeah. So stay tuned for a new, there's gonna be a new stream link. So I'm ending part two, officially ending part two and starting part three in, in less than an hour. Okay. And bricks. I'm leaving for a break. I'm, I'm gonna just, I, I don't wanna like leave the stream on a break for 40 minutes. I'm gonna start a new one uh, in, in after 2 p.m. So about 40, 45 minutes from now. Let me uh, let me know if you have the notifications on, so that way you can see. All right. Uh, yeah, just taking a break, lunch break, kind of, and coming back to stream again with part three in in just a, under an hour. All right, guys, let's do it. Talk to you very soon. I'm gonna eat something quickly, get some energy going, and we're gonna be back. Peace out. Bye. In about see you in uh, in less than an hour.